Um, On-chain data shows the chain link exchange supply has observed uh, a plummet, something that could turn out to be bullish for the assets price. Uh, according to data from the on-chain analytics firm Santinent, the link supply on exchanges could be forming a bullish divergence right now. The supply on exchanges here refers to the percentage of the total chain link circulating supply that's currently being stored in the wallets of all centralized exchanges. When the value of this metric rises, it means that the investors are depositing a net amount of their coins to these platforms currently. As you know, one of the, the main reasons why they may transfer their coins to exchanges uh, is uh, for selling related purposes. This kind of trend can have bearish effects on the cryptocurrency. Uh, on the contrary, the indicator's value going down, that is, uh, withdrawals taking place could prove to be bullish for the price as it can be a sign that the holders are accumulating. Now here's a chart that shows the trend in the chain link supply on exchanges over the past few years and uh, from the graph it's visible that the uh, chain link supply on uh, exchanges has registered a drop recently meaning that a net number of coins has left these central entities. Uh, and in the chart, Santiman has also highlighted the pattern that the cryptocurrency's price had followed when a similar trend in the supply on the exchanges had formed in the last few years. It would appear that whenever the supply on exchanges has declined into the green zone, alongside decreases in the price, Chainlink has observed some uptrends soon after. And since at the current value of about 15.5%, the indicator is inside this green territory, it's possible that Wink could benefit from a rebound from this current bullish divergence. If not all signs are positive for Chainlink. However, as an analyst on X Alley uh, has pointed out in a post that the whales have been behaving differently from the correction back in June, um, the whale transaction count, which tells us about the number of uh, uh, transfers that these humongous uh, investors are making has declined since the uh, latest drawdown in the asset, suggesting that this cohort has dropped its activity. Uh, this is different from the trend that had followed after the price drop back in June as these investors had ramped up their transfer activity then. The total holdings of the whales had also risen uh, back then as these investors had participated in um, accumulation helping form the bottom and providing a platform for the eventual rebound. And the holdings of the chain link whales have continued to be flat this time, meaning that they are interested in buying this dip. So while the supply on exchange is dropping is certainly bullish, support from the whales may also need to appear if the asset has to turn itself around. Now chain link has been mostly moving sideways since the crash earlier in the month as its price continues to trade around the $6 level. Uh,